So challenges are never ending. The best thing you can do is try to know as much as you can and prepare yourself to face challenges. Uh, that's the idea behind Immigrant Talks. I'm trying to bring a stories of different immigrants together so you can learn from experiences. Uh, I've added a couple of videos already and I can see it's on the way of making a difference. And here's another one. Uh, so thanks for that. Thanks for uh, agreeing to share your uh, experience. Um, you know, the idea behind making these videos is that the more information can go out, the more experiences can go out. I think people can learn from it, and that's what I've seen. So I've been making videos to make sure that all the experiences can go out, and people are actually finding it useful. So thanks again. Uh, let's start with uh, you know a quick introduction about about you. So if you want to tell something about yourself, yeah. So I'm my full name is Siddharth Sharma, right? And I'm from Shimla, Himachal Pradesh, and I come from a place where you don't have such kind of exposure. So coming to Ireland was a big exposure to me, and it was it was a big step for me. And I came here in uh, last August, right? And so far so good. And uh, till now there have been some hiccups, but still the journey has been smooth, and I'm quite liking it over here. Nice. And uh, I would love to be here for a few more years. That's nice. So, so few hiccups is what you mentioned. Yeah. I think that's the key here. But again, yeah. once you move from one country to another, you're gonna have some hiccups again. Yeah. Um, but so, so when you when you started this journey, um, that's where comes the whole point. Were there anything? Were there any you know things that you did which actually helped you reduce the number of challenges, and that you would want to mention that people can do? Maybe it can help them as well. Yeah, definitely. See, uh, when I started applying, right. I started from Germany. Right. Then after that, I started applying in different countries. Right. So knowing a few friends over here, uh, back from my college, from my uh, graduation, right. so it helped me a lot. Right. Because if you know someone who is in the same college, in the same course, you're going to uh, apply for. Yeah. So it gives you a wider picture. Yeah. See, and that brings out a few things that uh, you might not be able to do on yourself or through right. the internet. Right. So that helps a lot. I knew a few guys over here and they helped me out through the whole process, through the visa process and everything. So that helps a lot and it's definitely uh, very good to know you need to connect to people yeah. before coming, or before going to anywhere. Yeah. You should approach, you shouldn't, shouldn't hesitate in uh, communicating with everyone yeah. and that really helps a lot because you get to know the ground reality yeah. and that ground reality basically helps, to, helps you to clarify the things which you make up in minds and you can get uh, to the final decision right. pretty easy. Right. So 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 you you mentioned that you knew some people yeah. here. Yeah. Did that anyway help you in, in finding accommodation after you moved yes, from India to, to Ireland? Yeah definitely. Because the people over here they know the scenarios over here, right? right? Better than me or right. better than anyone. Right. So if I go through some other channel I might be, I'll definitely get something. Yeah. But uh, the, then again, there are some problems that you have to face. It's a new country. It's a new yeah. land. Yeah. You don't know how things work. Yeah. So like I went to my as my friend uh, was here, so I directly came to his home. So I was pretty comfortable over That's here. That's nice. That's so, yeah. actually very handy. I can imagine yeah. because when I moved here, I didn't know anybody, and I wish I knew a few yes. people, yeah. which just makes it much easier. Yeah. So now that you are in college, so you, what course are you doing? You yeah, I'm here for my uh, master's in data analytics. Okay. okay, and it's quite a challenging course because uh, it's f basically what people have to think is clarify in their mind is that they're going for masters. Right, right. So it's not a graduate degree. It's not a lower level degree. It's a higher education. So people they need to know that it's something big. Okay, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, and it's master's course. So the prerequisite is that if you're going for such a course, any course, irrespective of data analytics, that you know something about it. Right, so it's not that you're coming out of the blue to do this course. And if you're doing so, then you need to put in the hard work. Right. Because uh, it's a different education system altogether. Right. Because back in India, we don't have uh, plagiarism. Yeah. Right. And uh, there are many things, like the grading system and everything. So you need to get into the system. Yeah. So that's an important thing to prepare yourself just not to fully go into the course, but familiarize just, yeah, yourself just to familiarize with just the system yeah. and understand how yes, it works. Yes. And I think you mentioned plagiarism. So yeah. is that is that more like 
uh, not using someone's work and, yeah. and yeah. you know something like that. Yeah, yeah, but because that's really necessary. Because here plagiarism means something. You can't even plagiarize your own work. Yeah. Like if you did something in first semester, you can't do it. You take you can't take credit on your own work. Right. And that's really important because if you taking someone's work, yeah. it means something. It isn't that you can't just take someone's work yeah. and not uh, give him credit for it. Yeah. So that's really important. And you need to understand what plagiarism is because students don't generally understand how plagiarism works. So basically it is just if you're caught in plagiarism, just see for it where you are caught. Yeah. Because if you are caught in something main part, like the main abstract of the whole thing, then it's definitely wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, I think, going on I think that's, that's such an yeah. important point. And let me just mention this to, to the people watching this now. If you're going to do your master's in Ireland, like Siddharth mentioned here, Google plagiarism in Ireland and how to not do it. Because like Siddharth said, it, it is something really serious when it comes to your master's. So that's actually good to know as well. So now you're in your uh, second semester. Have you yeah. completed that second semester? Yes, second okay. Semester. Okay. So, so, you know, this is one of the common questions that people ask me. Um, which is when is the right time you start applying for jobs? Have you already started somewhat yeah, applying for jobs? Okay. No, no. What would you actually recommend if someone wants to apply after second semester mm -hmm. uh, for jobs? Uh, see, in my view, you have to start preparing for like the jobs like two or three months before you apply. Okay. Because uh, if you apply uh, a month or two before your graduation, and it is necessary to apply because uh, the programs are meant in such way, they are yeah. made in such way that when you complete your graduation, you get the job afterwards. Yeah. Like my graduation uh, ends, uh, ends in September, so the, it will start in September. So it's the perfect time to start looking for a job. Right. And uh, job processes are different from India over here, yeah. so it takes a long time. Okay. And you have to be patient. Yeah. That's the key. Okay. Because you get rejections all along the way. That's a common thing. Like it's in India also, you too get rejected. But patience is the uh, most important thing. And it's a long process. You have to wait through it. You'll have to apply it to many, lot, many uh, companies, maybe 100, 200. That doesn't matter. Yeah. You still have to keep fighting for it. Yeah. And uh, if you go through it, go, it will be a phase. It will be a tough phase because you have to think of your family. Then you have to stay over here. You have to you know, uh, work around all your uh, daily stuff. So patience is the main key. Yeah. yeah. So, so so I think I think patience is where you like I think that that has to be anyways with everybody going for jobs. I think patience is the key. But in your masters, uh, would you recommend if someone wants to do masters in data analytics, would you recommend they start preparing or doing some online courses yeah, or yeah. and reading maybe research papers yeah. or so reading is a a major part in right. your masters because uh, in masters you can't be sp uh, spoon feeding right. there's no spoon feeding right so you'll have to make an uh, habit of reading yeah. you have to get into it because you'll have to read a lot of papers a lot of work that has to be done you have to read it go through a lot of books so you have to develop a habit about that yeah. just read articles or books nothing yeah. uh, major but you have to do that because the professors and everyone They'll not guide you, uh, they'll guide you, but they'll not spoon feed you that this is it. They'll show you a path. So you'll have to do research on your own. So if you get acquainted to that, uh, so you can adapt more quickly. Yeah. So that's really necessary. Okay. And you know, uh, uh, going along the path, you need to make friends. You need to go to meetups. There are meetups uh, yeah. over here. So you need to connect. Because if you have a good network, they'll help you along the way. Yeah. Because as I told you, I had my friends over here. So I met him, I met his group, his friends at the college. So it made my path very easier. Nice. Because for me, it, was, it wasn't it was just about the, you have to study hard, you have yeah. to look for a job. I knew which time was right when I had to focus on my studies, when I had to look for a job, which was a perfect time. So that helped me a lot. And if you uh, connect to people, and that helps you. Exactly. I think networking you, is, yeah, is networking the key. Is it always helps you, yeah. not just in college, but even Every in your work. Yeah. But I think, yes, that, I think that's great. So you've already given a lot of uh, inputs here. Any last words that you want to say uh, to the people watching this? Yeah, definitely. There are three things, like there are many things, but the main three things are like you have to hard work, do a lot of hard work, yeah. because it's going to be tough. Yeah. And you have to fight plagiarism, because it's something new to us, yeah. and it's new to everybody. And the third thing is patience. Throughout the course, you have to be patient all along, not just for the job, for the marks, for the studies, for everything. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Siddharth. Those are really important things. But there's one more thing I think I would like to ask you and, and also mention is knowing about the visa, right? So if you're aware of what the visa rules are and, and 
different things about your visa because most of the recruiters may not be aware of it. Uh, so I think that's also important. Do, do you think? Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Kind of, it will help you along the way, and it's good to know that. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, absolutely. So I think that's pretty much it. Thanks. Thanks yeah, again, Siddharth. Thank uh, this is certainly going to help a lot of people. Oh yeah, thank you. This is what I'm hoping for, to help that one person who's about to take an education loan or quit his or her job to move to a new country. It's not that easy, but sharing knowledge and experience can help someone make the right decision at the right time. Remember, nothing is better than humanity in this world. And what's even more beautiful is helping others when you can. So if you've got a story, let's share it.